Hello, it's Harrison from CureExemaSlowly.com. Today we're going to talk about steroid creams. Now, we obviously know that steroids are the first line of treatment for eczema almost everywhere around the world. Conventional medicine gives you that steroid creams, moisturizers, and sometimes antihistamines. If you have a specific allergy, whether it's food or non-food related, like nickel or poison ivy or something like that. So you have these three main kind of treatments everywhere you, are, you go around the world. Now this is kind of like the eczema combo, I like to say, because it's, it's so frequently prescribed, it's almost, it is literally the textbook treatment. The problem with that is steroid creams can help you in the short run, but it doesn't actually get rid of your eczema in the long run. I think most people know this because after you finish your prescription in two weeks, it comes back again later and you keep on repeating this fixture cycle and your drug usage goes up, your reliance on it goes up and it just gets worse. Your eczema develops into more patches around the body and it gets more severe. Now the golden question is, you're probably watching this thinking, should I be using steroid creams? That has always been the golden question. And let me share three types of people and three types of approaches today that we have. The first is, 100% conventional medicine. You stick with steroid creams, you use it basically for the rest of your life, and hopefully you grow up. And now this is basically the paradigm that conventional doctors will tell you because eczema is only treatable through the control of symptoms. You, you don't re really get rid of it, you can just manage the symptoms using steroid creams. That is one approach. On the other hand of the spectrum, it is the 100% cold, cold turkey, as in drop as many steroid creams as possible, stop using all of the pharmaceutical products, and almost go hardcore, drop it all at once. Now, that sounds okay in terms of getting rid, rid of like drug reliance and all that, but it's very painful because if you stop using creams overnight, your patches are gonna develop, there are some form of withdrawal symptoms, and you get more itches and more bleeding, and it just hurts so much. So people don't usually go the cold turkey route. And if you do, you enter the community of red skin syndrome and topical steroid withdrawal, TSW. And usually those goes on for months and years, and you just don't know when exactly you'll recover from getting rid of the steroid creams. So that's the 100% steroid, and then the 0%, drop all of it as much as possible. And then there's the spectrum in the middle, in between. And that's where I kind of advocate. So you can gradually taper down your steroid usage, which should be ideal because you are balancing getting rid of your reliance and you're also um, gradually improving your immune system as in developing your own body's natural defense mechanisms. How? The problem with most people think, oh, if you gradually get rid of steroids, we are still missing something to help the body get better. We're still, we still need to do something to help the body get healthier. And that's true. What you need to do is gradually de taper down the steroid creams while gradually improving your healthy lifestyle habits. And that goes on to the, so many factors I mentioned all over my blog. I'll cover in more videos. It goes somewhere like dietary change, uh, stress management, your sleep, your exercise amount, and so many different factors. The problem with most people is we try to play around with steroid usage but we don't do enough of our lifestyle changes. And that is the goal of today's discussion. Should you be doing steroid creams? Should you be using it? Should you be dropping it? Should you be reducing it? The question is, are you ready for adopting these new lifestyle habits? And if you are, gradually decrease the steroid usage and gradually improve your lifestyle habits. I hope that answers your question. See you next time.